So I welcome once again you all uh, and a very good morning to all of you. So uh, basically today is uh, 22nd uh, December. So I'm recording this video on this date. And uh, like uh, today is the birth anniversary of our legendary Indian mathematician, uh, Srinivasa Ramanujan. And uh, we India uh, celebrate this day as the National Mathematics Day. So I wish you all a happy uh, National Mathematics Day. So uh, in the last video, we have uh, discussed about uh, parabola, right? Exercise one. So uh, exercise one, we have finished. We have discussed all the questions there. So today we will uh, take the next exercise. Uh, this exercise two of the same chapter, this parabola, okay? So uh, let's uh, uh, take the first question. It is saying if 2x plus y plus lambda equal to 0 is a normal to the parabola. Okay. So uh, parabola is given as y square is equal to minus 8x. And the equation of normal is given here. And we have to find the value of lambda. So what is our parabola? It's uh, y square is equal to uh, minus of 8x. Okay. And uh, equation of normal is given here. If you see equation of normal is given here in terms uh, uh, and this equation contains this lambda term, this 2x plus y uh, plus lambda equal to zero. We need to find this uh, lambda. Okay, if you observe, uh, uh, this is our parabola, right? So uh, we can write uh, the equation of tangent at any point P for this parabola. And once uh, we know the slope of tangent, uh, we can reciprocate with negative sign and we will get the uh, slope of normal, okay? So uh, if you see, I'm writing the equation of tangent for uh, this parabola. So it will be basically y, y1. I'm replacing y square by y, y1 and x by x plus x1 by two. So this will be uh, minus four times this x plus y square is equal to minus 8x. No? Okay, then it's okay. Then minus four into x plus x1. Okay. I'm assuming any point on the parabola whose coordinates are x1 and y1. So from here, if you see, uh, this will be y, y1, okay, uh, is equal to uh, minus of 4x and minus of 4x1. So from here we get y is equal to minus of 4 by y1 into x minus 4 times x1 upon y1, okay. So basically this is the slope, this is the slope of the tangent, okay. This is the uh, slope of tangent slope of tangent. So what will be our slope of normal? What will be our slope of normal? Slope of normal will be uh, y1 by 4, right? y1 by 4. Basically, I am reciprocating uh, this slope, this slope of tangent and uh, I am uh, changing the sign. So this will be y1 by 4. Now one thing uh, you observed here, here, if you see, the slope of normal is given to be, slope of normal, if you observe, it is given to be a minus 2, right? y is equal to minus 2x uh, minus lambda. So from here, we are getting slope of normal as minus 2. What does it imply? It implies that this value must be equal to minus 2, right? This value must be equal to uh, minus 2. So from here, we get y1 is equal to minus 8, right? y1 is equal to minus 8. Now this point x1 and y1 is, uh, this point x1, y1 is lying on this parabola. So it must uh, satisfy this. So basically, if you observe uh, this, y1 square must be equal to minus 8 times of x1. Now we know the value of this y1. So we will be putting here. So from here we get y1 square is 64 is equal to minus 8 times x1 or from here we get x1 is equals to minus 8, okay? x1 is equal, coming out to be minus 8. What does it mean? Our point is basically 
minus 8 comma minus 8 the point p is minus 8 comma minus 8 right so on this point we have to draw the equation of normal okay we have to uh, write the equation of the normal so anyhow we know this point right we know this point through which the normal is passing and we also uh, know the slope of normal so right slope of normal so slope of normal is what slope of normal is nothing but minus 2 so we can write the equation of a straight line this will be uh, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is our slope okay so uh, y minus y1 minus y1 will be plus 8 then it will be equal to minus 2 x minus x1 x minus x1 will be x plus 8 is it okay so uh, basically it will become y plus 8 okay uh, is equal to minus 2x and minus of 16 so our equation of normal comes out to be y plus 2x y plus 2x plus 24 is equal to 0 this is our uh, equation of normal right now uh, this uh, uh, this normal and this normal are same basically so comparing this comparing this if you see our lambda is coming out to be comparing this and this uh, equation our lambda is coming out to be 24 okay so this will be our answer this is what we uh, were asked to find so lambda will be equal to 24. Now uh, let's uh, come to the next question. This question number two. It is saying that the slope of a chord of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax, which is normal at one end and which subtends a right angle at the origin. Okay. So uh, basically, this uh, a standard parabola is given here y square is equal to 4ax. So uh, let me uh, draw it. Okay, so uh, this is our uh, parabola y square is equal to 4 ax, its axis is here. Uh, this is its axis and uh, one normal we have to draw, right? So let me draw that normal at this point P. So uh, this is our point P okay where we have uh, drawn this normal so basically if you see at point p uh, the angle between this tangent and uh, the angle between uh, this tangent let me draw it nicely okay anyhow it's okay only so uh, at point p this angle between this tangent and normal is 90 degree right so this angle is uh, 90 degree so at point P, we have drawn a normal which subtends a right angle at the origin. Okay. Okay. This, that means what is origin? Origin is basically a vertex of this parabola. This parabola is nothing but y square is equal to 4ax. So uh, origin is the vertex of the parabola. And uh, this uh, line PQ is our normal. Okay. The slope of chord of y square is equal to 4ax which is a uh, normal at one end it is normal at point p and which subtends a right angle at the origin so this pq is actually subtending a right angle at this origin right so uh, let me join these two points so this is also a uh, 90 degree this is also 90 degree okay <clears throat> we have to find the slope of pq our question is to find the slope of pq this is what asked in the question now uh, let me assume a point uh, parametric form a point p in parametric form so y square is equal to 4ax we can assume this point a as this uh, what you say a t square okay a t square upon 280 okay we have assumed this point a t square comma 280 or uh, we have to assume this q point also so better write it as a t1 square and comma 2 a t1 okay and i'm assuming this point q as uh, i'm assuming this point q as 
a t two a t two square comma two a t two. Is it okay? Now we have to find the slope of this uh, line p q. One information what we have uh, provided with is this uh, angle p q. Sorry, called this called p q. Called p q is obtaining an angle of ninety degree at the origin. So basically, if you see. Uh, the slope of, if I say uh, OP, right, the slope of OP uh, into slope of uh, OQ is equal to minus 1, right? Since these two uh, lines are at 90 degree. So what will be this uh, slope of OP? It will be 2AT1 minus of 0 and uh, uh, a t1 is square, right? A t1 is square minus of 0. This will be the slope of OP. And what will be the slope of OQ? It will be 2 A t2 upon A t2 is square. A t2 is square. This must be equal to minus 1. So from here, if you say this A will be cancelled out, 1 t1 will uh, vanish. Okay. Here also same. So we are left with uh, this. Uh, 4 upon uh, t1 into t2, 4 upon t1 into t2 is equal to minus 1, right? Or we can say this t1, t2 is equal to minus 1. We can write this t1, t2 is equal to minus 1. Now, what we need to find, we need to find the slope of pq, okay? Slope of pq. So basically, slope of PQ will be this uh, 2AT1 minus 2AT2 upon AT1 square minus AT2 square, right? This is uh, this, this will be the slope of PQ. If you take uh, 2A common from here, it will be uh, T1 minus T2. And I'm taking A common here. It will be... Uh, T1 is square minus T2 is square. That I am writing it as T1 uh, minus T2 and T1 plus T2. Is it okay? After taking A common, we will be uh, left out with uh, this T1 is square minus T2 is square. That I am further factoriti uh, factorizing it as T1 minus T2 and T1 plus T2. So this T1 minus T2 will be uh, cancelled out. This A will be cancelled out. Finally, we are left with uh, 2 upon T1 plus T2. Is it okay? 2 upon T1 plus T2. So, uh, and we know this information, this uh, T1, T2 is equals to minus 1. So, if you see, uh, if a, a normal at a point P, okay, I am talking in general, I am talking in general. So, if uh, we draw a normal at P, like P is the uh, foot of the normal, and if we extend that uh, chord to further intersect the parabola at any point, Q in uh, this case, so there is one relation, there is one relation between uh, this T1 and T2. What is that relation? That relation is basically T2 is equal to minus of T1 minus 2 upon T1. This is the relation which you must know right which you must know so uh, what is that this t2 is equals to minus of t1 minus 2 upon t1 now if you see uh, we know this value t1 into t2 what is that t1 t2 is equals to okay this will be minus 4 this will be minus 4 not minus 1 right T1, uh, T2 will be equal to minus 4. So basically, uh, what I will do, I will uh, try to find this value. This T1, if you see, uh, this T1 into T2, instead of T2, I will write this. Okay. T minus T1 minus 2 upon T1 is equals to what? Minus of 4. So uh, this will be minus of T1 square. Okay minus of t1 square plus no minus of t1 square minus of 2 right so uh, let me erase it first minus of t1 square uh, minus of 2 is equal to minus 4 okay so from here we get t1 square is equal to 
from here we get what t1 square is equal to 2 is it okay 4 minus 2 to t1 square so uh, we are getting the value of t1 as plus minus root 2 okay plus minus root 2 now what will be the value of t2 if we got t1 so it will be basically minus of considering uh, this t1 as suppose i am considering t1 as uh, plus of root 2 in first case and uh, one more case will be there then when t1 will be equal to minus of root 2 so when t1 is uh, plus root 2 what will be our t2 it will be uh, minus of root 2 right and minus of 2 upon root 2 is it okay so it will be uh, minus root 2 and this thing will become uh, root 2 so minus of 2 root 2 so when t1 is uh, plus root 2 our t2 is minus root 2 and when t1 is minus root 2 our t2 will become 2 root 2 our t2 will become 2 root 2 you put the value of t1 you will get this value okay so uh, this is one case and this is one case where t1 is equal to root 2 our t2 uh, we got t2 as minus 2 root 2 so now this slope of pq if you observe this slope of pq will be uh, this t1 plus t2 means root 2 and uh, minus 2 root 2 so from here we uh, get the value as 2 upon uh, minus root 2 right so minus of root 2 so this is one possible uh, slope of pq and there is one more possibility that is uh, when we take t1 as minus root 2 when we take t1 as minus root 2 and t2 as plus 2 root 2 okay so it will be basically 2 upon 2 root 2 minus root 2 will be root 2 that is uh, to uh, root 2 okay so uh, these two possibilities are there for the slope of this pq so uh, in option this uh, okay both are present so b and d both will be your answer this b and d both will be your answer so hope uh, this is clear to all the only important thing which uh, i guess you should be aware of is this thing like uh, if a, a normal drawn at p intersect further on the parabola the coordinates of this uh, means this parameter t2 can be expressed as minus t1 minus 2 upon t1 if this thing is known to you if this thing uh, you are aware of this then you can easily solve this question so this is question number two now let's move to this question number three it is saying that the common tangent to the parabola y square is equal to 4ax okay so here is our parabola y square is equal to 4ax and uh, x square is equal to 4a1 so the question is saying the common tangent to both the parabola so uh, let me first write the uh, tangent for this parabola so let me first write the tangent for this parabola okay so what will be tangent for this parabola in slope form we will write it in in slope form so basically y is equal to mx plus c suppose i am taking this uh, as a tangent to this so uh, what is the condition of tangency condition of tangency i am not uh, going in derivation and all since you have already covered this chapter uh, i hope this is uh, known to you so condition of uh, tangency is basically c is equals to a by for uh, for this line for this line y is equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to this parabola this c must be equal to a by m so our tangent will be y is equal to mx plus a by m now the same line if you see the same line is tangent to this parabola also this parabola also right tangent to that parabola also since it is a common tangent so uh, what i will do i will solve this equation i will solve this equation of line and this uh, parabola 
okay so and i will get the intersection point so basically i will uh, put the value of y in this equation of parabola this will be mx plus a by m okay so uh, what we will get we will basically get a quadratic in x so this will be x square minus 4 a m x okay and a minus of 4 a square minus of 4 a square um, by m okay this is equal to zero so for tangent for this uh, line to be tangent uh, this must have the or we can say for tangent or for tangency okay there must be uh, only one value of x right this quadratic must have only one root and that will be equal like common root uh, both roots will be equal and uh, it will be real right so for tangency the uh, discriminant the discriminant of this quadratic must be equal to zero now what is discriminant here so uh, this is basically b square minus 4ac so this will be uh, 16 a square m square this is b square minus 4 times a is 1 and what is c c is minus 4 a square upon m this must be equal to 0 for tangency so uh, from here we get 16 a square m square uh, is equal to a minus of 16 a square by m am i doing some mistake please check it 16a square m square is equal to 16a square by a. I think it's okay. So this 16a square, 16a square will be cancelled. From here we got m cube as minus of 1. So we can say the value of m is minus 1. So what does it mean? The slope of the line, slope of this line y is equal to mx plus c is minus 1. Hence, what will be uh, our equation of tangent? So, equation of tangent will become equation of tangent will become y is equal to uh, mx plus a by m was there. This was the equation of tangent. Now, put m equal to minus 1. It will be minus x and minus a or we can say y plus x plus a is equal to 0. Okay. So this will be the common tangent to both parabola y square is equal to 4ax and x square is equal to 4ay. So y plus x plus a that is option a. Option a is correct. Now let's uh, see this next question. The circle x square plus y square plus 4 lambda x equal to 0. Okay. Lambda belongs to real number touches the parabola y square is equal to 8x okay so basically one parabola is there okay one parabola is there suppose x is this one and one circle is there one circle is there okay this is our circle both are this circle is touching the parabola and we have to find the value of lambda in this case. So basically if you see this is our uh, parabola y square is equal to y square is equal to 8x. So it is of a standard form only. What does it mean? This will be our x axis. This will be our x axis. The axis of this parabola will be uh, x axis and uh, this circle is given by y is x square plus y square plus 4 lambda x is equal to 0. Okay. So no y terms means its uh, center will lie on the x axis itself. And what will be the center of this circle? The center of this circle will be 2 lambda with negative sign that is minus 2 lambda comma 0. And what will be radius of this? Uh, what will be the radius of this circle? It will be uh, g square means 4 lambda square plus f square no f square no c so uh, radius will be equal to uh, 2 lambda so this is our center this is our center of circle uh, whose coordinates are minus 2 lambda comma 0 okay and this is our focus so if you see it's uh, this is our parabola so if you see from here we get a is equal to 
comparing with a standard form 4a is equal to 8 means a is equal to 2 right a is equals to 2 so uh, this will be our focus 2 comma 0 i have just written i don't know whether we will uh, need this information or not so focus for this will be uh, 2 comma 0 so what we were asked okay this circle touches this parabola okay it is touching here at the origin we can say uh, they are touching each other at the origin so i can draw this thing also sorry this what you say i can draw this y axis also so this will be our y axis basically okay so now uh, what will be the value of lambda so basically this center of circle uh, should lie on the uh, negative x axis right because once it will this circle will cross this origin and it will come on the positive x axis it will uh, cut it will intersect the parabola at two distinct points but we don't need that okay so the center of circle must lie on the uh, negative x direction negative uh, x axis right so this minus 2 lambda thing this minus 2 lambda thing the center of this circle should be less than 0 right so uh, if you uh, multiply it uh, with negative sign what does it become it will become lambda will be greater than 0 right so uh, our the value of lambda will ranges from this uh, 0 to infinity right 0 to infinity so uh, is there any option 0 to infinity yeah option a is there but i am thinking of one more case like one more case is possible here if you see what if what if this is our uh, let me uh, let me draw first so this is our uh, parabola and uh, one more uh, case may arise where this uh, circle will be uh, like this this circle will be sorry so one more case may arise where circle will be uh, like this right like it will touch the parabola at two points at uh, two points so uh, suppose this is our origin this is our origin and this is the uh, center of circle this is the center of circle so in this case basically what will happen uh, like this suppose i am uh, making one tangent at this point p okay and uh, here also if you say here also we can make a common tangent to both so uh, this point p and q at point p and q basically uh, we can have a common tangent to both this circle and parabola okay and the coordinates of c is given as minus 2 lambda comma 0 this we know so basically uh, what we will do we will uh, make one uh, we will take a parametric point at this p that is 80 square comma 280 okay and we will write the equation of tangent and from there uh, that tangent uh, that tangent will be behave as uh, tangent to, to the circle also so we will uh, take the distance from center to uh, that tangent and we will equate that to the radius of the circle right so basically this cp this cp thing this cp will be equal to the radius of circle okay and uh, uh, we can write this tangent at p tangent at p right the equation of tangent at p in terms of parameter also we can write this ty is equal to x plus a t square or in terms of slope also you can write it as y is equal to mx plus a by m where m is the slope and then in that case the point of this uh, coordinates of p will be 
what will be its coordinate a by m square comma 2a by m so anyhow from there we can find this lambda but uh, uh, as per this question what i am getting uh, uh, this will be our answer right from here we get lambda is greater than zero so uh, the answer to this question will be this option a but this is also one case which is possible so uh, let's take the next question question number 5 so it is saying if the normals at two points p and q of a parabola this intersect at a third point r on the curve then the product of the ordinates of p and q okay so our standard parabola is given here y square is equal to 4ax okay so this is our parabola y square is equal to 4ax and it is saying if the normals at point p and q so let me take this uh, as p and i am drawing one normal here and uh, let me take this as r i'm drawing one more normal so as per question this is uh, point p this is point q and this is point r and r is on the parabola like the normals at p and q intersect at a third point r which is on the curve itself so this is our parabola y square is equal to 4ax okay this is our points now what we need to prove we have to find the product of ordinates of p and q so uh, let me take uh, let me take this point p as a t1 square let me change the color so this uh, a t square or you can say a t1 square comma 2 a t1 so this is the coordinate of p and let me take coordinate of q as uh, a t2 square a t2 square comma 2 a t2 okay and we can also uh, assume this coordinate of r also since it is also on the same curve y square is equal to 4x so uh, let me take it as a t3 square a t3 square comma 2 a t3 okay so a uh, question is asking to find the product of the ordinates of p and q so what is the ordinate of p it is 2 a t1 okay and uh, what is the ordinate of q it is 2 a t2 this product question is demanding what will be this product so this is our target to find now let me uh, talk about this this uh, this p r is a normal okay at p so uh, basically this t3 we can write it as we have discussed the same concept in i think uh, question number two so let me uh, repeat it we can write this t3 as we can write this t3 as what uh, t3 no yeah t3 we can write it as uh, minus of t1 okay and minus 2 upon t1 right and one more way uh, like uh, we can uh, write this t3 in one more way how this uh, we are drawing this qr is also a normal at q okay and this is also meeting at the same point t3 so from here t3 will be equal to minus t2 minus 2 upon t2 is it okay is it okay these two uh, things if it's fine to you then we are done like we can easily solve for that now uh, if you see uh, we can write it as let me take it as equation one let me take it as equation two so from one and two you can write minus of t1 minus two upon t1 is equals to uh, minus of t2 minus 2 upon t2 okay so uh, let me take this t2 to uh, this left hand side it will be t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 and let me move it to uh, right hand side so it will be 2 upon t1 and uh, minus 2 upon t2 is it okay so uh, t2 minus t1 or or t2 minus t1 is equal to this t1 t2 is our lcm t1 means 2 t2 2 t2 minus 2 t1 
Okay. So from here, if you see, uh, you take two uh, as common. So we are left out with this thing. 2 times T2 minus T1 upon uh, T1, T2. So T2 minus T1 will get cancelled out. And from here, we get T1, T2 is equals to 2. Right? Now, this is what is asked here. So if you say this product is nothing but let me name it as let me name it as uh, A. So let me name it this product as A. So our A is nothing but uh, 4A square. This 4A square into T1, T2. They put this value of T1, T2 here. So it will be 2 into 4A square. That will be nothing but 8A square. So this is our product. This is our answer. Okay. So uh, this is uh, what uh, this is what question is asking. But uh, let me uh, let me tell you some uh, other facts also for this type of question. Like this uh, T3 will be okay. Whenever this uh, T3 uh, means this normal at P and Q meet at R. Okay, this relation is valid everywhere. This T1 into T2 will be equal to 2. So one thing which we learned here, this T1, T2 will be equal to 2. So this is, I am writing as learnings. So this T1 into T2 will be equal to 2. When, when product, the, when the normal drawn at P and Q on the parabola meets the parabola again at point R. In that case, this relation will be valid. And one more thing, this T3 will be equal to, this T3 will be equal to minus of T1 plus T2. Okay. This you can verify from these two equations. Okay. This you can easily verify. So, uh, these two things, uh, I advise you to uh, remember. Okay. But uh, this uh, normal at P and Q must meet at R and R must be on the parabola. Then only this thing will be uh, valid. So I think we are done with this. So let's take this next question, question number six. The normals at three points P, Q, R of parabola y square is equal to 4x. Meet in H comma K. Okay. The centroid of triangle P, Q, R. So basically, uh, this is our parabola. Okay. And this is our parabola. This is our axis. So question is saying the normal set P, Q and R meet in H comma K. Achha. So let me uh, draw. This is our one normal. This is our one normal. And this is our one normal. So uh, this point is basically P. Okay, this point is P, this point is Q, and this point is R. And uh, these three normals are meeting at a point, any point, suppose uh, I am taking it as M, okay? And the coordinates of M is H comma K, right? This is what given in the question. Now the question is saying the centroid of triangle PQR. Okay, so let me draw the triangle PQR first. So P, Q and R. Okay, this will be P, Q side. This will be that. Okay, so this triangle P, Q, R. What I have drawn in this green colored line. So question is asking where does the centroid of this triangle lie? Okay, the centroid of triangle P, Q, R lies on. So, uh, this and what is this parabola? This parabola is nothing but our standard parabola y square is equal to 4ax. Okay. So uh, from point M, right? From point M, we are drawing three normals. We uh, we can say in that way also from point M, we are uh, drawing three normals to this parabola. So basically, what is the equation of normal in uh, slope form? Equation of normal equation of normal in slope form for this uh, parabola y square is equal to 4x it is basically y is equal to 
y is equal to mx minus 2am minus of am cube, where m is the slope of the normal, right? m is the slope of the normal. Here, m is the slope of the normal. Slope of normal. Hope you are uh, aware of this thing. So, uh, this normal is passing through this point m, whose coordinates are h comma k, sorry. So, it will satisfy it. So, I am writing it as uh, k is equal to k is equal to mh minus 2 a m minus a m q. Okay. Now, I will uh, rearrange this equation as a m q a m q plus 2 a m okay, minus m h or h m minus h m plus k is equal to 0. I have just uh, shifted this right hand things to the left hand side. So, a m q plus 2 a m minus h m plus k is equal to 0. Now, basically this is uh, a cubic in m, right? Let me rearrange it. a m q plus 2 a minus h okay, into m plus k. This is cubic in m. This is a cubic in M. So, uh, it will have three roots. It will have three roots M1, M2 and M3. Whose roots are? It will have three roots. So, I am assuming it as M1, M2 and M3. Okay. Now, what does it mean? What are this M1, M2 and M3? This M2, M3. Uh, like uh, this will be slope of these normals. Like suppose this is our M1. Slope of this PM. Uh, PQ slope is M2 and uh, this slope of MR is M3. Is it okay? Is it okay to everyone? So now let's observe this cubic. The uh, coefficient of M square is missing. Coefficient of M square is missing here. Right, coefficient of m square is missing here. So, what will be the sum of roots? What will be the sum of roots? m1 plus m2 plus m3 will be equal to 0. Is it okay? This sum of roots will be equal to 0. Now, uh, I have assumed this uh, equation of normal to be this, right? So, uh, What we get uh, minus 2 a m minus a m two, right? So uh, this m1 plus m2 plus m3 is equal to 0. And we can write uh, other relations also like product of roots like m1, m2, m3 will be equal to this minus k upon it. But we don't need here, right? We don't need here. The coordinates of p, q and c if you observe the y coordinates will be minus 2 a m1. Okay, I'm not bothered about the x coordinate. And what will be coordinate of this q? This will be minus 2 a m2. And what will be the coordinates of r? It will be minus 2 a m3. Now, for finding the centroid of triangle p q r, centroid of p q r, Okay, I'm representing uh, that by G. I don't know about the X axis, like X coordinate, but this Y coordinate will be basically minus 2A M1 plus M2 plus M3 by 3. Is it okay? Now, this M1 plus M2 plus M3 is equal to 0. So, this thing will be equal to 0. So, the centroid of the, so the centroid uh, of this uh, triangle P, Q, R will lie on Y equal to 0. Y equal to 0. This is confirmed that X, this uh, X coordinate may vary, but this Y coordinate is 0. So, what does it mean if uh, some point is there? So, centroid will be somewhere between, somewhere on this line. This is our axis, no? This is our axis for this parabola, y square is equal to 4x. This is x axis. Its equation is nothing but y equal to 0. Okay. 
So uh, this centroid of triangle PQR, centroid of triangle PQR will definitely lie on, will definitely lie on, lie on x-axis. That is y equal to c. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, this is our this option is correct y equal to zero and this this is one of the property of parabola also we used to remember this in our school days as a uh, properties okay and uh, these properties are uh, equivalent to uh, questions also like je also used to uh, create questions uh, directly based on uh, properties of the parabola so uh, this is just a minute yeah, so this is our question number six. Let's uh, take the next one. This question number seven. What it is saying, the set of points on the axis of parabola this, from which all the three normals to the parabola are real. Okay, in last question also, uh, in last question also, if you see uh, this PQR, just I'm uh, giving one note. This P, Q are basically called co-normal points. P, Q are, are called co-normal points. Okay. Now, uh, let's say this next question. The set of points on the axis of parabola is from which three normals to the parabola are real. So, uh, one parabola is given here, y square minus 4x minus 2y plus 5 equal to. So uh, let me try to change it in some standard form. So this will be y square minus 2y plus 1. Okay. And uh, minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. So this will be y minus 1 whole square is equal to uh, 4 times x minus 1. This will be 4x minus 4. 4x minus 4. Yeah. So, uh, this is our parabola y square is equal to uh, 4ax. Okay. With shifted uh, vertex. Basically, this is our uh, uh, parabola with shifted vertex. So, we will compare this with our standard parabola y square is equal to 4ax. So, what will be a vertex basically? What will be vertex so this y minus 1 will be equal to 0. So from here we get y equal to 1. And uh, this x minus 1. Am I doing uh, correctly? y minus 1, 4 x minus 1. So x minus 1 will be equal to 0. So from here we get x equal to 1. So uh, this will be vertex of this parable. So let me uh, draw one rough sketch for this. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this will be our vertex basically, whose coordinates are what? Uh, 1 comma 1. Yes, 1 comma 1. Okay. So, and what will be uh, the focus? What will be focus of this parabola? If you compare it from here. So this is done with the vertex. We are done with the vertex here. Now 4a is equal to 4, right? While comparing with the standard form. So a is coming out to be 1. So uh, what will be our focus? Focus will be a. Means this a is what? A is the distance between this vertex and focus. So uh, x coordinate is of vertex is 1. So x coordinate of focus will be basically 2 comma 1. And this line is y equal to, this line is y equal to 1. That is uh, the axis. The axis of this parabola will be y equal to 1. Now, where will uh, our origin lie? Our origin will be somewhere here. Let me draw with uh, another pen. That will be. Okay, it's not happening. Let it be. So, basically. This will be our x and y axis. This is our x axis. And this will be our y axis. And this is our origin 0, 0. Okay. 
So uh, we are done with the basic uh, informations. What we have given, we have plotted all the things. Now, what is asked? The set of points on the axis of parabola. On the axis of parabola. Okay. Uh, from which all the three normals to the parabola are real. Okay. So what we have uh, done in the last question, same concept uh, here also. Like one point he has taken. The question is... Uh, the question is taken one point like on parabola, on the axis of parabola. Okay. And from this point, we are drawing three normals to the parabola. Okay. So uh, this is, suppose this is our normal one. Okay. Or you can say this as normal one. This is our first normal. This is our second normal. And this is our third normal. Okay. So, uh, at this point, this point, suppose I'm taking this point as M. So what will be its coordinate basically? It's a uh, coordinate will be some Lambda and Y coordinate will be fixed. That is one only since it is lying on the axis and, uh, what is axis Y equal to one. So, uh, the coordinates of M will be Lambda comma one. Okay. Now this Lambda may, may vary now for drawing for three normals, for three real normals, for three real normals, for three uh, real normals from the point, from point M, okay, from point M, this X coordinate of M, this X coordinate of M should be greater than 2A. This lambda should be greater than 2A. Okay. This is the condition. This is the condition for three real normals. For three real normals. You write here three real normals. Okay. So this lambda, the x coordinate of this point M should be greater than 2A. Okay. Hope it is uh, clear to all. Now what will be uh, this? Lambda means what? Lambda should be greater than H should be greater than normally uh, we used to learn in this way for uh, for this. Let me write here in box. For, for if our parabola is y square is equal to 4x. Okay. And we have to uh, draw uh, three real normals. So this H must be greater than 2. What is H? The x coordinate of point M. From where we are drawing the in, uh, from where we are drawing the normals to the parabola. Okay. So uh, this lambda thing, this lambda must be greater than 2a. And what is uh, this uh, lambda? What will be our lambda basically? What is our x coordinate? This, this thing. Right. x minus a. Okay. So h basically, h is nothing but for, for our uh, this uh, parabola y square is equal to 4x. What is H? H is the X coordinate, no? Like this X, capital X must be greater than 2A. Okay. So from here we will say capital X must be greater than 2A. Okay. And now what is capital X? Capital X is nothing but this is our capital X, right? And this is our capital Y. Okay. So capital X must be greater than 2A. And what is A? A is 1. A is 1, no? So I will put the value of A and I will put the value of capital X that is uh, X minus A. Sorry, X minus 1. X minus 1 should be greater than this 2. So from here, X should be greater than 3. Okay. X should be greater than 3. And X, what what is X? This lambda thing is only. Okay. So basically lambda, this implies lambda should be greater than 3. Okay. Lambda should be greater than 3. Like, if lambda is greater than 3, then only we will be able to draw 3 normal, uh, 3 uh, normals, 3 normal uh, real normals. If lambda is less than 3, we will not be able to plot the 3 uh, real normals. Okay. So, I think uh, this question is clear to all. So, lambda should be greater than 3. So, this is our correct option, this option B. So, I think I have not taken further questions. Okay, uh, we will uh, we will uh, shoot uh, we will record one more video for the remaining questions. 
so uh, till now uh, let uh, let us like uh, keep this exercise up to this question number 7 only uh, i will come with the next video and i will discuss the, the next questions there so uh, till then okay tata goodbye take care yeah i have heard of the this corona news i don't know whether it is what's going on but uh, yeah please uh, wear mask if possible while going outside so uh, okay we will meet you once again with the uh, next questions of this exercise too so bye